Oh yes, oh yes. It is going off. That siren, folks. What you hear? If you're wandering around and you're lost, that's your calling, folks. Come on into the boxing rehab, known as the Double RT Boxing Show, the Ready Ready Talk Boxing Show. I'm your host, Mr. A, the home of boxing junkies. It's okay. Don't be ashamed. This is where you get your fix. This is where you get better. Come on in. Let's talk about some boxing. And this is what the show is about, folks. Where else are you going to hear anyone cover Gustavo Limos, number 12 in the IBF? That's what we do on the WRT Boxing Show. We talk the best versus best. And the lingo on this show is number 1 through 12. In each organization, that is the best versus the best. I know a lot of people like to say, this guy's a bum, that guy's a bum. No, those guys are the best. 1 through 15, fighting for intercontinental belts, fighting for Latino belts. IBF Latino champion, Gustavo Lamos, knocks out Jorge Paez Jr. in the second round. Might even get knocked out of the month. See, the way that dude, I get it, is a low competition, but this has been a low month. You know, if you're a new viewer, that's what we do on the Double RT Boxing Show. We've been breaking down the month by month award, so that way, by we get to the end of the show, the end of the year, we could kind of have a nice banter boxing debate on what is the best so new viewers i think if i suggest if you want to subscribe thank you i appreciate your support i appreciate your time get the thumbs up excuse me right there a nice little burp there but i suggest it before you subscribe finish this episode of course but you can still hit the thumbs up but go back and watch some other episodes see if you really like the show you know, see what the show has to offer. We do breakdown predictions, post-fight reactions, Mr. Ace thoughts, live episodes, pre-taped episodes. See if you like the show, then come back and subscribe. But again, where else are you going to find Gustavo Limos comp coverage? This is his second or third time being on the show. The show's only created a year and a half ago. Number 12 by the IBF. Only ranking he has. Um, now, there's some raw people out there who are like, Ugh, I don't know if they're going to get any better. Like, for instance, Kareem Laharaga, who just lost, got knocked out by David Anabesian. Number two, he looked very raw. You can see a lot of flaws in him. We've been talking about it the whole time. Now, Gustavo Limos, at number 12, trying to do some broken-ass shoulder roll, but you can see he has a little more to work behind. You know, a little more patience, a little more punch selection. Um, I would like to see him use more jabs. I would like to see him more use more jabs because he's a young guy. How old is Gustavo? Gustavo, he's 23 years old. So right now he's smelling his own piss, you know, saying it smells like roses and he's believing that power. And that shoulder roll was broken. He's, you, you can tell he's a very good domestic fighter. He, he's definitely not world world level. But if you've been following belts or you know anything, something about Latino belts, they get you championships. I know definitely the WBO Latino. If you're a WBO Latino um, champion, you get a title shot eventually. So I won't be surprised if um, the IBF Latino does the same thing. But like I said, he was clearly... The A side, one sided in this fight, in a home showcase and fight. It's two rounds, obliterated, obliviated uh, his opponent. Like I said, with that little flurry of hooks and then that straight, what was it like a straight hybrid left hook? It sent homeboy Piaz on the ground. He, 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 he got up off his back, sat on his ass. And then did the dog. You ever see a dog when they scratch their ass on the carpet, they scoot themselves forward? Homeboy did that. He scooted his ass forward like a dog. Got up, looked around, stumbled. He was on stupid street. So, like I said, weak month of March, weak opponent. But when we do do the whole research and for the, the best of the month, that might just be knock out of the March right there. Considering the whole reaction, <laughs> well, how, what he did when he got hit. But. We'll see. I got I to research it. But it's a pretty good showcase. And like I said, he's definitely still domestic level. Um, I don't see. He's. I don't think he's ready for. Where's he at? Number 12. Who's ahead of him? That We might recognize some names. Edis Tatley. 
Did he just fight someone? Or is he about to fight someone? You got Devin Haney. I don't think he could beat. Now he got Game Boy Tago. That'd be interesting. That'd be a nice, interesting country fight. You got the Ghanaian. Ghanaian. Game Boy versus Dar Argentinian. That'd be a good fight. You got Lee Shelby moving up to a... I thought he moved up to 140. You got Teofimo Lopez. I don't know if he could beat him. That'd be interesting. Power for power. Jorge Camposo. Emmanuel Marcelli. If I was him, I'd go for Emmanuel Marcelli. Get, get that old man out the way. Roman Andrade, the Russian. He might be able to beat him. Nakatini, the Japanese. I don't know. And Richard Kome. I don't think he could beat the champion. But there's a few names above him I think he can beat off just rear, rugged heart and power. But he needs a jab. He needs a jab and a, a little more uh, variation with his punching. But he's 23 years old, number 12 for the IBF, Latino champion with a record of what exactly is his record. So he has time to pad it up some more. He's, like I said, he ain't 21 and 0 with 11 knockouts. I say about 25 and 0, he should be getting out of Argentina. You know, give him about four more fights, see what he has, see if he can develop a jab, a little more foot movement. Very raw, very, very raw. This is Double RT Boxing Show. I'm your host, Mr. A. The thumbs to you for supporting the show, your time and support. Thank you. And I'm bringing it on back to the show. Hit the thumbs up. Appreciate it.